Hello all and welcome along to another video with me, Simon and Dan. Before we begin, it's time I say another huge thank you. We surpassed the 500 subscriber mark sometime on Saturday, so thank you to all of you, although it's now in the 700s. I'm starting to get used to some of the more regular commenters now, and I have to say the community is building nicely. We should do a special video next week to commemorate the big 500. Let's get back to today's video, and despite planning to do one on time, Nathan and his team have been caught lying again when deciding to address a small portion of the video I made regarding their debunking of Alkay's Globe Earth proof last week. Specifically, they have taken the disliking to this picture. Now, Mr Warrior has been downgraded to the subs bench for this one and another of Nathan's experts, some guy called Ranty, has taken up the mantle. He's even posted on his own channel and apparently I've been wrecked. If you don't fancy watching today but you'd like to know the general gist of it, I believe the following clip correctly explains what's going on. Imagine I am the Philadelphia 76ers centre Dikembe Mutombo in the black kit and that this ranty character is the NBA legend and LA Laker forward that is Kobe Bryant in the gold kit. Mark is an excellent help defender. He knows the defensive guidelines and he is going to go to the front of that rim any kind of penetration. Let's see what he's got. Uh, could I address this Al K nonsense? Um, yeah, if you want. And there was a video put out about a bunch of flat earthers get it astonishingly wrong, I think was the uh, the name of the video by this gentleman here. You're, Where are we? You're on. Simon Dan, right? No, you mean no Simon Dan? There's no Si in his conversation. He just rejects the evidence and distorts it to suit his narrative. Wow. They're straight in there with the discrediting, aren't they? Absolutely smashing takedown, Mr. Warrior. You know, can I just say, Ranty, before you do, Nathan and I discussed whether we should even talk about this, and we came to the conclusion that we weren't going to mention it because we didn't really want to promote him. <laughs> that ship sailed, isn't it? <laughs> so, well, yeah, you, you can mention it if you want, but. Yeah, I'm happy to just congratulate Al Kay on providing the most astounding flat earth proof that I've seen from any ball earther in recent times. Honestly, and I'm going to prove it right now. This should be good i agree um so obviously here we have his observation from 30.9 miles away there is one that was a lot further 39 miles away i think he got down to about a foot in elevation but as you know everything you know things converge at the horizon and it was pretty smudged at that distance so something that was a 30 mile 31 mile is always a good good viewing position to to get some data from so Oh, what a surprise. The image that's furthest away is too smudged to use, so they're using another one. Okay, we can deal with that. Please continue. Essentially from that distance, 552 feet of the mountain should be hidden, right? So if I show you, this is the high elevation, right? So he went up to an elevation of over 300 feet, much nearer. And he was able to see right down to the little piece of land at the bottom here where the uh, the lighthouse is on. So this is from his high elevation. This is what it looked like. Now I'm going to go through some points of interest on these two um, observations. So this is from the distance uh, at 30.9 miles away. And this is the high observation, right? Great. Happy with that so far? No issues at all. So I'm going to be looking for points of interest because obviously they don't look the same on the, on first glance, right? So on the next thing, we know, what we need to do is we need to find common ground to make sure that what, what we're looking at is the same part of the mountain and how much of the mountain we're actually seeing. So I've highlighted some um, positions here on the two images that are a very, very, very close match, okay? On the next point, we have... Um, a little ledge that comes across to the right here. I wonder if we can zoom in on that. No, you're all right. Keep it like that. It's good. We can see all right, it. Okay. Uh, where are we? So, right, one, two. So we have a little ledge that comes across here, and we have a little ledge that comes across here. So there's a match in the same locations too. The next point is obviously this very clear uh, p 
piece of rock on the side of the mountain that is evident here as well. And if you look at how they're all, all three are in relation to each other, um, height wise and position left and right, they're all identical. I cannot argue with a single thing you have said so far. Uh, the next point of interest is the far right hand side where this uh, drop comes right off and curls out right at the bottom. This drops off and curls off right at the bottom, just the same on the two, on the two um, images. Now, hang on. You expect us to believe that this is the same as this. Let's look at them next to each other. It's starting to look a bit dodgy, isn't it? But we'll give them the benefit of the doubt and we'll let them continue. Next point of interest, a little slightly more subjective, but what you've got to realise is that he, has a, he's a, he is actually doing it from a, a different location. So although they match up, uh, they're not yeah, as, as clear a, as the rest. There's a small element of rotation because he's, he's on a slightly different angle. Exactly, yeah. So like this little rock here, um, it isn't evidenced on the little set on the side here, but that's just because he's from a slightly different angle, as you've just quite the, uh, correctly pointed out. There's the ledge that comes out here, there's the ledge that comes out there, and there's the side of the rock, side of the rock. Now these two are just clearly wrong. For starters, what about this little impression? I think you've deliberately chosen the second little impression to make your model fit. Your set of two red lines should be where the arrow is, not in the location where you've put them. This is backed up by the fact that the small ledge at the bottom of your red lines in the top photo is completely missing at the bottom of the red lines in the bottom photo. And lastly, we have again this uh, little piece of land at the bottom and a little piece of land at the bottom here. You must think that the people watching are stupid. Surely, how does this even remotely resemble this? Right. Yeah. Now, if you take that as a whole, right, forgetting the fact that because this was done at distance, obviously it's compressing it, so it's going slight. It's being squashed slightly. That's the and point, though. But it's compressing it, and if you can, the best illustration of the compression is seen in that bottom right-hand corner box. Look at the difference in the height, but it's the same profile. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, it's best shown here. I see, I see. Apart from the fact that none of the other boxes that you've laid out show anywhere near the same amount of compression. The pink, for example, by your own admission, that should be stretched at least, what, three or four times in a vertical direction? But it's not, is it? And before you say it's only on the horizon, then why hasn't the left-hand side been stretched that much? This is, this is the most clear evidence that it's the same image, complete image of the same thing seen at uh, different um, distances, right? Apart from the fact it's not based on the points I just made. This Burke, this group of flat earthers get it astonishingly wrong. Yeah. He's, this is his impression of how much we're seeing from distance, right? This is this Burke's impression. That's me. That's me. He slaps the bit on the top, right? And said, that's what we've seen from the 39 mile observation. Right? Well, that can't be true because from the 30.9 elevation point, all this matches up perfectly. Yeah. What he's done is he's, he's, he's do shrunk down the size of the top image, which is from a couple of feet, and sort of squashed it onto the top like it's a ice cream on top of an ice cream cone. Nathan, if I had done that, you would see clear distortion in the photo. Just so we're clear, here is the first image direct from LK's video. And here is the overlay that I made. Next to each other, I think it would be fair to say that they are exactly the same and no stretching or squashing has taken place. Ranty? Yes? Could you do us a favour? Could you dig out his video and find and just show my comment on his video? Well, that's the exact point I made. And I just said what he's done. If he classes that as a match for an overlay that's supposed to be the same, he's blind as a bat. But I don't think he, I think he realises that that's not that I, don't, I think he honestly realizes that that doesn't match, but he's pushed it anyway. No, I don't honestly realize it's not a match. To be honest, I rushed the cutting out and the overlaying, and what do you know? It matched pretty good. 
Well, what you've got to consider is that first Al Qaeda did his lowest observational height at one foot, not three feet or five feet or ten feet. He did it at one foot elevation from the furthest distance, 39 miles. Now that is going to compress the height of the image. We know that from our own observations, what it does, it squashes it. Um, and he has used this unclear 39 mile image, uh, which is pretty difficult to make out anything uh, of interest on this particular image, which is why I used the 30.9 mile distance one, because it was much clearer. You know, this this one was far clearer to work on and compare it with than, than the one that he used. But what he's done is he's taken that unclear image um, and he slaps it on the top of the <laughs> of the high elevation profile and said this is a match and it's it's nothing like a match at all okay i'll tell you what let's forget about the first image completely according to you it's not even acceptable and it's too compressed etc so let's take the second image the one that you've already used in the earlier part of your video let's use that one now if you were in any doubt before with the old overlay then i trust this has confirmed the worst for you ranty remember I'm using the photo you've chosen as being acceptable. There is absolutely no doubt that this second photo taken by Al Kay has a considerable amount hidden below the curve. Forget the calculators, forget the maths, that mountain is hidden. Yeah. Ranty, just uh, can you dig out his, um, my, my comment on this thing and just read my comment? It's exactly what you've put, but then look at his response to it. His response to my comment is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh no, what did I do? Um, let's see. Let's have a look down here. Let's see if you're... How far, how far down is it going to be? Going. Miles Davis. I haven't seen him yeah. around for months. It would have seemed, seemed he's still around. I don't think that's what? real Miles. Might be anyway, but keep going, keep going. I'm going, I'm going. It was about three days ago. Right, okay. Well, all I'm seeing is here, there's a lot of people commenting and they, they're patting him on the back. He's got a lot of likes, uh, hardly any dislike. Yes, the video has been received quite well. Thank you. Which you'd expect. Course. You'd course. expect that. Yeah. Um, but essentially, he's got it so wrong. Al has got it so wrong. Au contraire, my little flat earth friend. I think you'll find that you guys have it wrong. Twice. Simon Dan, so about that drop value and the hidden value overlay oh, yeah, matched about as well as fitting curtains to a ball. My point is the mountain should be stop, missing. Stop, 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 stop. Hillel Finder's safe. You don't need to kick him, anybody. Go on. Uh, can't you, Geometry Dude? Your shite overlay proves your nonsense is wrong. Why don't you focus on the overlay a little better? Yeah, I mean, essentially, he put this video out pretty quick. He obviously did absolutely no research in it. Yeah, but he look at his response. Read his response. Everyone can see it matches pretty much perfectly. Okay. I would disagree. I would disagree. What? A bunch of flat earthers who have been caught lying disagree that my picture which proves said lying is legitimate? Well, who would have thought? Uh, your point was that the first image was the whole mountain, which you can clearly see it isn't. Right. Uh, well, like I said, you can't really tell what you what you're seeing on the thirty point nine image. Let's be honest; it is quite difficult. Uh, and, my, and my point in in response to um, Al K was that any of it is even seen, not necessarily some of it or all of it. Although my position is you can see all of it. My point originally is that none of it should be seen at thirty nine miles away because of the drop value that puts the base of the mountain that's bigger, high, uh, the, the, the drop value is greater than the height of Elsa Craig, that puts the whole thing behind it. Even though it's clear to see why well, even a naked mole rat, that each photo of Al Kays has a different degree of the mountain hidden. Is If he was correct, I would be on the baller side. I would be saying, Simon Dan, you're the man. You've got this so right. Riley and crew have got it wrong. They, the, the, they're idiots. But he's completely got it wrong, but he won't even accept it. But that compression point on the right-hand side, the two boxes you've got on the right-hand side, uh -huh. is proof that it's flat regardless of how much you've seen. No, it's proof that you're making stuff up again. Well, let's have a look. 182 likes, 34 dislikes. Okay, and it's all horse manure. Yeah. So I'm going to dislike it. Oh, man, that's not cool. 
there you were being all civilised and everything and then you go and do that. That's ranty off the Simon Dan Christmas card list. I'll tell you that for free. There we go. And Simon, and Simon Dan, we deliberately didn't respond to this video because, to be honest, you're too stupid to understand the facts that you're looking at, the evidence that you're looking at. I'm too stupid to understand the facts that I'm looking at. I'm too stupid. The bit that you're not accepting is that the shadow being cast elsewhere does, means that the eclipse doesn't happen. But it does. Because the minute it happens in between the sun, we so so eclipse. how how is it on on a planet with seven billion people on it that when the fucking moon blocks out the sun, no fucker sees it, Anthony? No, because link it can happen one on fucking water. eclipse. Link me one eclipse, Anthony. That's happened, happened in recent memory that no one has seen. Well, I'm gonna have to come back to you in ten minutes when I find one. Wow, that's embarrassing. You call me out as stupid, and it transpires that you once believed that there's a solar eclipse that happens every month. YouTube is littered, and I mean littered, with example after example of you being stupid. You should really stop and think before saying something like that. You can't come back from that something like that, buddy. Okay, looks like we've done enough here to discredit them again. Are they going to take a third bite of the cherry? And Nathan... The fact you're thinking about not critiquing someone because of the exposure it would give that person shows exactly where your priorities lie. Personally, I'm not bothered. Doesn't matter to me if you have 6,000 subscribers or six. You and your team are lying to everyone. You need exposing. Thank you all again for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. I have been Simon Dan. Have a great day. Bye bye.